What is up guys? This is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I'm doing a little catfishing off the bank on the Missouri River and I'm using cut and live bait. I just went to the creek earlier today with some wax worms and caught myself some bluegill and sunfish. So here's one of the little guys right here. They make excellent blue catfish and flathead catfish bait and hopefully it has some luck but I have to use fairly big weights. Here's an 8 on seeker and it's just sliding so this way when the fish starts to take my bait it doesn't feel all that weight. Sometimes when the high water comes each year you, I have a little more luck. So let's see what we catch. I think I got it. That's something big on. Oh man, this big old live bluegill that I just showed you guys. Oh, the river's gone up 10 feet. I don't have a net either. I can't believe we forgot it. The river's gone up 10 feet in 24 hours. And sometimes that really draws out the big fish. Nice blue catfish, guys. Oh, don't come off, buddy. All right. Let's see if I can get him a little closer. He just inhaled that life. Fish. I'm gonna have to come down here. I'm gonna have to worry about breaking my line. It's just... Oh yeah, he's hooked pretty good. All right. Hey. Blue catfish bank fishing on the Missouri River. You see that big old 10 knot circle hook was not coming out. 100 pound braid. This guy is a nice fish. Maybe we can catch some more. Get this 10 odd out of here. There's the circle hook we were using with that live bait we were using. I'll hold up this catfish for you. But nice blue catfish on the Missouri River. It just caught a carp that was about 10 15 pounds of worm. Immediately after, just saw this pole going. Might come back tomorrow and see if we have any more luck, but that's a nice fish. And I'll go ahead and release them for you guys. Hopefully, hoping to catch a 100 pounder out of here one of these days. It's a huge body of water, hardly ever gets fished. It's definitely possible by releasing these guys, you get those chances to get 100 pounders. Fish. Ooh, man, and there he goes. Great catch, hopefully we get some more. We're at the Missouri River. My sister's gonna reel in a fish. We're fishing with worms on the bottom. The river's gone up 10 feet over the last 24 hours, and that's really good for carp fishing. They come in closer to the shore, so I'm not fishing too far from the shore because I know they're gonna be on that flooded vegetation and they're definitely going to be eating the worms because that's what's getting flooded up. So I got a big old night crawler on a size one hook and he's taking, pulling pretty good there. Woo! It's a nice fish. I'm going to get ready to grab it. Don't have the net. I got it today. Oh yeah. Carper, pretty good fighting fish. All right, get I him got him. Deal. Or do you? There we go, guys. Nice carp. Man, this guy's a lunker. Here's the hook I was using, guys. One odd J hook. This is a nice carp. There we go. Beautiful fish. Missouri River. They are an invasive species, but uh, good fish. Guys, we just had some pretty good luck fishing. We were only here about an hour and a half. We caught a nice 10, 15 pound blue catfish and another 10 to 15 pound carp. We're gonna head out for the day. Got about a mile hike, hike back, but a uh, good day fishing. And hopefully we catch more tomorrow. <laughs> you got it. Is that with the magnesium? Yep. Nice. I think I bought this at Cabela's. It was like really cheap, uh, like seven bucks max. I seen it for cheaper. I think this is four dollars at another store. It's got two eagle scouts and an outdoors man. So we got something on right now, on worm. <laughs> got a bunch of live baits out and cut baits. I'm gonna guess it's a small catfish, a carp, or a sturgeon. Let's see. Let's see, I'll grab this net. Oh, those hot dogs were good. I'm gonna have to have another. It's trying to, it's going right by the shore. I just hope it doesn't snag it. I see some bubbles. Let's see. Yeah, bubbles are coming up. It's coming. It's getting close. Got the net. Oh, I see more bubbles. Just gotta keep it out. Oh, it's a big old drum. It's a really big drum. Just get it in a little more and we should be able to get him. No, now he's going away from me. He sees the net. Night, 
water drum. Jen, I know you took one of these up like a couple weeks ago. What yeah. It yeah, it's it was a, not. It's a pretty big fish though. Here's the hook. One odd circle. Pretty small hook. Pulled up this guy. Beautiful drum. That's water drum. Not quite so hard. But, uh, nice gar. We'll go ahead and release him. Sometimes you can use him for bait. But you can see all the teeth he's got in there. He's got a lot of very sharp teeth. 